Yeah, hi, can I have two Krabby Patty meals, please? Yeah, you want everything on that? Yeah, everything on it. I'm quite impressed. I didn't expect it to follow this well. Let's see if it can, maybe I have to go through here. Let's see if you can come through the doorway and follow me downstairs. Oh no, it's got stuck here. Okay. Oh no, I didn't expect this, so I've ruined the shot. Oh no. Dude, that was insane. I did not expect it to follow me inside and come downstairs. Let me, all right, my plan was to then shoot a couple of shots coming into the room. Not in my wildest dream did I expect it to come in here, to be able to follow me into this room. So this is the Hover X1. So the email I just got was from DJI releasing their DJI Neo which is a $200 version of this, a self-flying drone. And my, my thought was I'll have a quick, oh my goodness, okay. I was planning on starting the video with taking the bins out and getting an email, because it did come through this morning, and then looking at the email and then coming in, pulling out this drone, because actually I had the batteries on charge. And I was like, you know what make an interesting start to the video is actually using this, because I wanted to see if this worked in other situations to decide whether or not I purchased this DJI Neo. But now my immediate thought is that I don't need to purchase the DJI Neo because this worked so well. But I think I'll do it because it's an interesting concept for viewership. Let's go run a couple of tests on this. Now, you know, actually, it's not that, it's not that this may not work that well, but it only shoots 2.7K, whereas the DJI Neo shoots 4K and has a couple of other good features. And I hate the idea of this like overconsumption just for social media. And I have a perfect, like seemingly a perfectly good one, but maybe let's just go take it through some tests and, and just see if we need to make the purchase. Actually, I just finished editing the vlog. Let's see what other people are saying online. Now I have a problem with watching videos about tech stuff. It's like, I know people who make tech videos. Mm, I don't know if I want to say it like that because that would come out the wrong way. You'll find most people within a niche get sent so many products and they're paid, not necessarily to say that it's a good product, this, that, or anything else, but how can you not emphasize the good parts when I know that these tech companies give like somewhat of a script or the talking points and they're paying a lot of money. And it's hard when you're being paid that much money to turn back to the brand and say, I'm not saying those things. I actually think this is kind of shit or it's, it's kind of good, but it's not really that good. Like I wouldn't buy this myself. It's the people, I'll tell you what, I think when someone's in a niche, it's the people that you can tell are super honest, like uh, Carter PCs on TikTok. I really, respect his stuff because he gives a very honest opinion because he's got the power he's got the autocratic power to be able to say i don't really care about this product like he doesn't need the money i like that and i was kind of hoping that peter mckinnon had done a video on this but it doesn't look like he has like i kind of wish someone like casey neistat had done a review because then you'd see the ins and outs of it and nothing that's too polished for views 
that's that's what sucks about Shay's just text said you do you see the Krabby Patty meal. Shay's like every now and again she's the finger on the pulse for things that are going well on social media. So she sends me ideas of things to do. You have two types of content. You have content that's there because someone wanted to make it, and you have the type of content that is designed for views. Now you'll find a lot of tech content is designed for views, and so it's polished. I don't want polished. I want like should I just I just Something important to understand what I do is that there's a blend between what I find entertaining and what I know will do well on social media, let's say, like what people want. So Wendy's are having the Krabby Patty meal just got released. So if I'm gonna make a TikTok about it, why not let's find out how the this drone does in following me to go and get it. Dude, I was gonna freak out, so just wait. Ready? Hi, dude. Uh, ow! Hey, that's enough. Standard. Shh. <laughs> okay, all right. Dude, you're gonna have to go outside. Bad girl. So you're following me out the door. <laughs> Stuck on the roof. No, don't land. No. Oh, shit. I know why, because you flipping just got yourself stuck on the roof, didn't you, you sausage? No, go down. <laughs> I'm having to crouch down. Oh, I was lucky. Can I go out the garage? Yes. Answer the car. <laughs> this is so... How cool, it works so well. Okay, now what do you do? I didn't even grab the key, did I? Oh, you donut. Come over here. This is America, we need to drive everywhere. So each of these up here, you just press this button to select the different options. And you have hover, like moves away and up from you, moves away from you, and then this one's follow, goes around you, goes straight up, and then you can custom build it. I'm here for a reason, but the so other super cool thing about this is, that I like over the DJI one, is that this is the size of it. Just fits in a fanny pack with a battery and everything so perfectly. That's amazing. F17, where is that? Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> I would actually say, before I started watching Casey Neistat a long time ago, I would have like extremely panicked at that because this is an expensive camera. F17. His whole idea was that like these are all just tools to get the job done. And when you think about it like that, you think about these possessions as less as through here. Less as things that you need and more as just like, it is what it is. 17, here we go. But do I love the idea of dropping a $5,000 $5, camera setup? No. Where is it? Of course. Sold out. Dude, a foam hat would have been hilarious for the video. Because I'm going to have to go with these. This is what it looks like. That, oh, dude. You imagine the shot, I'm ordering the food. So it's a shot of the speaker, me ordering the food, and it turns around and I'm wearing that. Oh, I think that would be so funny. I have come up with a plan. A very good plan, in my opinion. A nice little workaround. Oh, I like this. Need a Flipping screwdriver blades. This might be the end of me today. 
This yellow line is my ruler. I can only imagine what a someone watching might be thinking. How innovative. No, stop, please. Please just help me. Let me do this. Yes. Don't blow away. Safety first. Yeah, hi, can I have two Krabby Patty meals, please? Yeah, you want everything on that? Yeah, everything on it. What do you think of the outfit? I think I did well to fashion this together. I quite like that. So for the TikTok video, I'm gonna pretend like I forgot ketchup because I don't eat the sauce. And I'm gonna see if the drone can follow me in. What an outfit. I, I can barely see, if I'm honest. That's about as much as I see. <laughs> yeah, this is awful. This bandana is gonna come in in a little bit. I kind of have a cool idea for it. I hope it works out. It should work out. It has to work out. But I do, I really, like I could never have planned this as I've kind of talked about in other videos where I like to plan it ahead. But I really like the idea of when something becomes a main part of the video early on or is just a part of the video early on and then becomes a main part of the video later on is like the crux of the video or like something important in the video. I love that. I just have to be careful not to crash into the person in front at the moment. Also trying to hide my card information in case I accidentally show that. There's a thing. Do I feel silly? Yes, but I'm proud of doing it for the video. This is like peak embarrassment for me right now. Sir, my vanilla frosting machine is echoing Would you like it to be on the uh, chocolate? Uh, the pineapple frosty machine? Let's try it. Yeah, why not? Thank you. The frosty, the vanilla frosty machine is acting up, so we're going to do the pineapple on the chocolate. We'll see about that. Also, the funny thing is, I couldn't see his reaction to looking at my face because I can barely see anything. <laughs> Thank you. Twenty-six oh two, sir. Thank you, sir. All good? Thanks. I'm probably going to ask for permission first to fly the drone inside, but there's part of me that's like, I should just film it because it's in their busy time and they're probably going to just say no during their busy time. Or maybe I'll have it follow me in. God, I can't see crap in these. I can't be driving home in these. Just in the parking lot. All right, let's get this drone up to follow me inside. Frosties are in the sun, which is great. Oh no, I forgot to ask for ketchup. All right, you know what time it is. Unlike last night, I got it up. I'm just kidding. That's gross. It's following me. I can't, I could can barely see where I'm going. Where's the bloody entrance? There it is. We're going the long way around. <laughs> Check I'm not going into the wall. All right, will it follow me in here? Oh no, I can't get the door open at the same time. No. <laughs> Turns out it's self-service. You know what's crazy about this? I'm a 33-year-old man, but to me, like I've already explained it, I think I'm just like quantifying it to myself as other people are looking, all for the video. <laughs> but I think it's so funny, and I love pushing myself out of the comfort zone to do this. Whoa! Put your glasses on, you sausage. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, Rudy, it went up here. <laughs> Uh, they're chocolate frosties, not vanilla. They got them. Yeah. I'll tell you in a second. Ew. Why do they taste funny? Yeah. Ugh. As the lifelong spot. Oh. I don't like it. Chocolate. Look. Eat some here. As a lifelong SpongeBob fan, was it everything you dreamed of? Uh. Wise words. <laughs> <laughs> so you said it wasn't that good. It was good, but the chocolate, but it, it's like Big Mac sauce. No. It's similar, I guess, but not. Similar to, not. same, same, but different. Mm. Same, same, but different to Mac yeah. sauce. <laughs> yeah, go Vin. Oh, did you drop it? Oh, Chobies, you look fantastic. Yeah, chocolate pineapple frosty. It's too sweet. The pineapple's too sweet, but I quite like that. 
I do love flying drones in the house. And that was a big thing on TikTok I did for a while and it pulled in quite a few views with some cool videos. But this one. What you saw earlier, but she just pants for so long afterwards. I got all the footage I needed. I'm gonna script, make this video. I'm not actually gonna go, in, oh, still wearing this, into the whole um, scripting process in this vlog, but this is one of those videos where time is of the essence. And if there's time, I'll take this down to the football field, the soccer field, and uh, put it through some tests. The issue I have with this drone is, because of the battery length, you can only really get, I don't know, five to 10 shots on a single battery. So I'll have to look at the flight time of this versus the DJI one, but I'm still leaning on keeping this one, but maybe testing the other one, the DJI one. All right, so I just changed my mind. I actually did go and order it for, oh, the flipping wind out here now. For one main reason, and I'll probably end up returning it, but I want to do a comparison. I feel like no one, hold on a second. I feel like there needed to be a comparison that no one else had done that was using it as a vlog camera. Cause like in my videos, I use the shots, like when I go somewhere new or when I go into my office or I go into the bathroom or I go to Walmart, I like to get a certain number of shots, which I would call like establishing shots to show where I am. And then that leads into whatever happens there. Like I do those um, on purpose. And I feel like the DJI Neo is a drone a lot of people will be searching for. So I'm gonna do it. Night night. <laughs> 